Hi, welcome to theCUBE. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, and we are at Google with CloudNow, which is a nonprofit organization supporting and foreign led by great female technology leaders, expertise in cloud computing and converging technologies. And we're here because tonight is their fifth annual uh, awards for the top women in cloud innovation. So we're very excited to be here. We're here right now with Dow Jensen. Dow and I go way back. And Dow, you are the CEO of Kaizen Technology Partners. Dow is also the founder of the Office of the Cloud, which I was fortunate to be at your launch a couple of months ago. We Welcome were fortunate to, to have you. Thank, Thank you. you. First time on theCUBE. You yes. are, uh, as the founder of the Office of the Cloud, you're also um, partnering and sponsoring with Cloud. Now talk to us a little bit about what you guys are collaborating on to really help foster and inspire more women to be as successful as yourself. Sure, um, well we believe that men are very important in helping women get into the cloud economy and with their help in raising them up into the ladders of the ecosystem. So here to support cloud now, we wanted to make sure there were sponsors from all cloud public companies as well as private. So we've started after meeting with Jocelyn a few months ago, getting those sponsors, and I believe we'll have some greater sponsorships and some scholarships out of this for the sixth year of Cloud Now. Yeah, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Something that you said was actually echoing a lot of what we've heard tonight at the show is that it's not just about women in tech, females in tech, that men are actually essential. And I remember when I was talking with you a few months ago about Correct. the launch event, and that was something that was very important to you. And I think it's great to hear that because your message has, has been reiterated tonight. What are some of the things that you've heard tonight, maybe from some of the keynotes or some of the award winners, that you found, that's awesome, this is inspiring. Yeah, so I found some of the inspiring pieces, like I've been working on this project for 12 years, and now I'm just getting credit for it, right? The, the persistence of someone being able to work on it. The other pieces were the heart stories, heartfelt stories of how the technologies were helping out cancer patients. Yes. And women and young children who didn't have a voice, literally yes. physically did not have a voice, and how technology is helping them get there and be able to have their own voice. Yes, that was voice ID. We actually spoke with them and we actually had one of their soon to be customers um, with us and it was, it was like, why is it just now or two years ago that someone said, you know what, all these computerized voices are, are the same, they're not customized, but as people, we have personalities. So okay. what a great idea and a great inspi inspiration to leverage technology in that way. I, I agree with you, I found it tremendously inspiring. We also, you mentioned cancer, and we were just talking with Mary Stenzel Poor, who is in, um, OHSU. Uh, associate, yes, at yes. OHSU, and she was talking about what, how they're collaborating with Intel to um, create the, the collaborative cancer cloud, and that's something that's very near and dear to my heart, and I just thought, it's, that's what we need, and, but it, what, one of the messages that I, I like that that sends is, everything now is technology. Right. Your car is a computer. Everything is technology, so having that message be reiterated to whether they're young girls in STEM programs or thinking about what to major in, or maybe they've got a degree in something different but are interested in that, I think those are great messages. And speaking of career paths, you and I are very similar in a, in a right. very uh, zigzaggy path. Right. Talk to us about your career path to not only CTO, but also co-founder of, of the Office of the Cloud. So I actually started in a finance degree, not knowing what a CPU was in the 90s, <laughs> or who Sun Microsystems was. I'm not sure if I uh, feel good about acknowledging that. But I think what you're even seeing in the computer and cloud world, like the driverless cloud, a car, right? Having a Google driving self car, it's not about just the technology, but also the experience that's in the technology. So you need people with the marketing sense, the EQ of how does that sensory affect me or how will that affect my experience and what can I do in it? Doesn't mean that you have to have technological background on it, but that you can think as a person and an experience. So for myself, the finance background helps me relate to my clients not just from this technology works and the technology can solve your problem, right. but really from the political business view of understanding that finances, politics, personalities, and I was the youth governor of my state, those things are very important in decision making as well as your interrelation with people and things. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more and I think that's a message that we've heard from all of the guests here tonight. Jocelyn talked about that as well. Uh, I think that and I, I, I know I wouldn't change my career path and I, I bet you wouldn't either because as you've said, you've gotten this, you have a diverse perspective. Correct. That you wouldn't have had otherwise. 
So what's next, really quickly before we wrap, what's next for the Office of the Cloud? So what we're looking for is really to be able to help the more scholars at the whole Burton School here at Cloud Now. But I think we're looking for an event that will make, really run by the, by the end users, the needs that they're seeing in the future. So look for us in the spring. I think we'll have a wonderful guest speaker, maybe from the federal government, talking about how cloud and security and security isn't in the way of cloud. Um, but for us, cloud now is all about a person at a time and a company at a time, putting companies together to talk to each other and being able to solve problems where people have failed and they can share that failure so that the next company doesn't fail and cloud doesn't become an overarching inability to get to. Absolutely. Right? Really cloud is just an enablement. I would not have been able to start a company and many women aren't able to start a company or men without consuming a server or a storage. Right. So it's really a, a gap to let us in, but it's not the answer to everything without sharing. Absolutely, and I, I love your kind of final message here of collaboration. Um, we've heard that echoed a lot throughout our guests tonight. Dow Jensen, thank you so much for joining us. You're now thank a you, Lisa, Cube alumna. Me. Yes, it's been great, great to have Hopefully you. Hopefully, we'll here. be on again soon. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you for watching. We've had a great time here, Cloud Now. Thank you for having us. We hope you've been inspired. And if you know a female in tech who should be interviewed in our studios in Palo Alto, please tweet us at the Cube hashtag Women in Tech. I'm your host, Lisa Martin. We'll see you next time. Thank you.